Hey guys, in this video I want to show you a quick way that you can edit a bunch of videos at once. So batch video editing. You can take all the videos in a certain directory and just apply the same edit to it as long as it's the same thing. Let's say you want to cut it down to a certain size. Maybe you want to transcode the video, convert them all from like a .mov to a .mp4. Or maybe you want to rescale them all from like a 4 to 3 ratio to a 16 by 9 widescreen ratio. Um, this will let you do that. So it's using the software FFmpeg and it runs on Windows, Linux, and Mac. I'm going to be running it on Linux and uh, I'm going to be actually adding in an intro video and an outro video to my tutorials. So this is, this is the method that I use. I don't actually get into like video editing software like Caden Live um, or any of like the Adobe Premiere or anything. I just use this script and it adds in my intro video and my outro video to every file in this directory. So it's really slick. You've got to use a little bit of the command line to do it but I'll show you how I do that right now, and uh, let's hop over to the screencast and check that out. Okay, so I'm here on my desktop now. I'm actually running this script, so it's gone through a couple. Um, it produces, this is the, the what the script looks like. So it's running a for loop. Um, it's just, just in Linux, like a bash script is what this is. So this might look different if you're using Windows. You won't be able to use this exact thing, but you will be able to use this, is the, the actual command that's being called. And so we could just type this in manually. What it's, what it's really doing is saying the program we want to invoke is FFmpeg. That's the command. And then we're saying dash I means input. So we're doing that three times. We have these three different input files. And then the first input file is actually uh, intro.mp4. The second one, well, let's see. I'll just show you. This is, this is what it looks like here. Is actually this. So this is the actual command I would use. I just type in concat.sh, then intro mp4, outro mp4. So it gets those two files and then reassigns them to file one and file two. And then it just says, take file one, add it to the next i, the next active item in the directory, and then add that to the outro. And then mix them all together, use the video as a source, use the audio as a source. There's three files we're working with, and then output put output as a prefix to the file to the original name of the file that's why when we come over here we see this is like output of LMMS lesson 10 and this is the original of LMMS lesson 10 so this output should have and it's still working on that one um, but it should have when it's done an intro and an outro with it we can look at number one and see if it does so it plays the intro Welcome to this first video right in a the video. Perfect. That's what it's supposed to do. The reason I'm having to re-encode uh, the video instead of just because uh, you can actually use concat and just add all the files together since they're all MP4 and they're all the same frame rate. I I can very quickly just put them all together and it takes like half a second per video. Uh, but when I was doing that, I was getting these black frames between every uh, video, uh, every transition. So when it transitioned from the intro to the main video. <clears throat> because of the way the keyframes were set up and because it's mp4 it was creating some black frames in, in there so that's why I'm re-encoding so it doesn't always necessarily have to be done and if you're just like merging just audio files or something uh, you may not have to re-encode but for me I had to do that and that's why but it's been it's been working pretty well plus it, it lowers the size so like this original LMMS one was 205 megabytes but the output here is only 30 megabytes so it makes it much nicer to upload to YouTube. It's still a decent quality, and I've been pretty pretty happy with it. Um, I may change this method in the future, but for now it's been working really well for me. So I'm curious to know what you think. Go ahead and uh, comment below. Um, let me know if you have a more efficient way to do this, or if you have any advice for me for improving the process, or if you have any questions. Um, perhaps I'll make a, a tutorial series on using FFmpeg, um, kind of show some of the commands that you can do with it. I don't do a lot with Bash shell scripting, and I, I actually don't do a lot with FFmpeg, but I have used it a little bit uh, in the past. So yeah, thanks for watching, and catch you in the next video.